dark energy and the accelerated expansion of the universe. This is the topic of discussion in today's lecture. So I am talking about what? It is dark energy. Dark energy is considered as a mysterious form of energy which causes the expansion of the universe. And not only expansion, this rate of expansion is accelerated. Okay, so this way dark energy is defined in physics or in astronomy. Okay, astronomy is a branch of physics, this is known to you. So it is a mysterious form of energy and it acts opposite to the direction of gravitational pull. Because due to the presence of gravitational pull, expansion is not possible. Expansion of the universe is not possible. But since dark energy is present, this is just a concept of the physicist, okay? Since dark energy is present and it is acting opposite to the direction of the gravitational pull, that's why we can observe uh, the expansion of the universe. So if you measure the expansion rate, then, uh, then in that case, that rate is being accelerated by some uh, unknown factors. Okay, so uh, this way uh, energy, sorry, dark energy is defined and uh, in most of the cases instead of only dark energy, dark energy density. This is used. So according to the astronomers, the uh, if you talk about the total energy of the universe, total energy density of the universe, then out of that 68% more than 50% okay 68% of the total energy density uh, is the contribution from dark energy itself dark energy alone okay 68% and remaining 32% what we observe around us okay that is the contribution of the other mass and energy anyway so I was talking about what? Dark energy. So how this idea came into the mind of the physicists or the astronomers? First of all, uh, type 1 supernovae. Type 1 supernovae are defined as uh, the supernovae which are having constant brightness. Means uniform brightness. Okay. So those are used by the astronomers as standard candles. Brightness of those supernovae are known to the astronomers and comparing the brightness of those known supernovae that, uh, that means I am talking about uh, type 1a supernovae comparing the comparing brightness of those supernovae with the unknown supernovae we can easily calculate means astronomers can easily calculate the distance of the unknown objects okay unknown objects you know that uh, in physics, you have studied uh, that uh, brightness of any object uh, is inversely proportional uh, to the square of its distance. Means brightness decreases as the distance increases. And what is the mathematical relationship between these two brightness and distance? It is brightness is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Using this formula, uh, astronomers can easily predict the brightness of the unknown objects. Okay, so similar procedure was followed by the astronomers and it was done in late 1990s. Okay, and by following this procedure, uh, astronomers conclude that the universe is not only expanding but it is expanding at an accelerate, accelerated rate. Okay. And you know that if this, ex, ex, uh, this acceleration or this expansion continues, then there uh, in the future, means I am talking about future of the universe, in future, not in near future, it is, uh, it may take billions of years, but ultimately what will be the future of the universe? There will be a deep freeze. There will be a deep freeze. The universe will be colder than its present value. Okay, and expansion will be much more. 
anyway so that is the future of the uh, universe if uh, this is true okay if the presence of dark energy is true then that will ha happen in future one more thing uh, first is supernova 1a supernovae this is the plural, uh, plural form of supernova so supernovae 1a that was studied and accordingly astronomers concluded that the universe is constantly expanding with an acceler uh, accelerated rate okay one more thing is there cmb study of cmb that is a cosmic microwave background radiation study of that thing and uh, analyzing the results the same results uh, came into the mind of the physicists that the universe is expanding then studying the uh, <coughs> galactic structures large galactic structures large cosmic structures okay scientists conclude the same thing in einstein's field equations means i am talking about general theory of relativity of einstein there you would find field equations and einstein used a constant denoted by lambda which denotes constant energy density but if you uh, use that uh, concept that the energy remains constant energy con uh, density remains constant okay then there will be a problem of fine tuning means everything cannot be predicted by using the concept of constant energy density lambda which appeared in einstein's field equations so there is one more concept which is known as a uh, dynamic dark energy and according to this concept of dynamic dark energy the energy density of the universe is changing over time and space maybe it is decreasing maybe it is increasing but it is changing it is not remaining fixed value it is not remaining constant so uh, ongoing researches are focusing on to know the mystery behind uh, this dark energy whether it is really existing or not maybe new physics will be required uh, to explain all the phenomena which are being observed by the astronomers okay new physics may be required means new laws of physics may be required okay researches are going on uh, so uh, this was all about the concept of dark energy okay okay so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video